Hey guys, I know it's been a while uh, since I had a chance to film a video, um, but I had a free day today, a little bit of time, and I've just kind of uh, kind of been in the mood to do it and just haven't had the time or the uh, motivation. Um, so today, I do have the time and I do have the motivation because I received a little bit of a care package this week from my good friend Tom back in Seattle. Uh, uh, he sent me... Um, a little care package. He does that from time to time. Um, and one of the things that he sent me was a bag of pipe tobacco from the Cargo Hold in beautiful Paulsville, Washington. Uh, if you've never had a chance to go to the Cargo Hold, if you live in the area, if you're traveling to the area, Paulsville is a beautiful little town. And um, the Cargo Hold is a beautiful little shop. And Doug Owen uh, does a wonderful job with it. And uh, it's a really class act kind of guy and has a classy place so check it out um, <clears throat> but he sent me something called Crimson Pirate um, I don't know what it is I don't know what's in it I don't know any details about it uh, but right there's the label and you can see the uh, logo for uh, the cargo hold and their phone number reach out and order some if you want I'm sure that they would love your business um, they're a good little pipe shop so uh, I'm going to try some of this. I've never had it before. Uh, I'm going to smoke a little bit of it and let you know what I think. I'm just going to let you take a sniff of the bag here. Goodness. What a smell. It's like... Vinegary and raisiny. Goodness, what an interesting smell. Kind of fruity, um, plums or figs maybe. I'm not, not really sure. Um, there's a vinegary smell to it. Kind of like the old McClellan Virginia, Red Virginia smell, but a little more sweet and a little less uh, tart. I've, uh, I've loaded up a bowl of Crimson Pirate in my uh, Peterson Pipe of the Year 2017. Beautiful little short cutty or uh, devil ants, or at least reminiscent of the devil ants pipe. It's a great pipe, smokes really well. Now we're just going to give this a shot, see what it's like. It's very sweet. I can get a very strong, sweet um, flavor on that. First light. So there's Cavendish too because I'm getting a marshmallowy sort of taste. And I always associate toasted Cavendish with a marshmallowy sweetness. Interesting. Not sure. Um, this pipe as a it's a really interesting because the angle of the bowl faces away. <clears throat> so to get a good light, I have to sort of hold the pipe up so that I can see what I'm doing because I don't want to char the rim. I want to make sure the flame is getting down in. Um, so it kind of there's a weird sort of pose <laughs> that you have to do to get it to light right. Um, that's not a complaint. Uh, I think it's part of the magic of the uh, of the pipe. Each pipe, I personally think, there's more to a pipe than just the look or how it smokes. Um, there's a, a tactile experience to the pipe, something physical physical connection there as well as its own unique quirks you know some pipes smoke differently or a certain way you know you can you can really smoke really hard on this pipe or um, you have to take it slow with another pipe or whatever the case may be this one has its own quirks when lighting so uh, that's something I actually really enjoy about it uh, one of the uh, the little uh, little little individualities of, of, uh, of the pipe that make it more than just a smoking tool and, and uh, a 
cherishable, almost like a personal artifact. Let's see if we can get this thing to light for sure. So it's kind of tangy in an Orientals sort of way, which I wasn't expecting. There's no lot of Kia, so it's not Vulcan in any way. It is very much a Virginia. Kind of fruity. But also tangy. A little like Three Nuns, but, but that sort of redder Virginia flavor. It's very smooth. Um, it smells good. Having trouble keeping it lit. pretty good I'm not gonna lie um, I like a lot of different kinds of blends um, when I first started all I would smoke were English blends I don't want anything crazy no Lakelands no Burley blends no Virginia blends nothing crazy just English blends a lot of Kia that's all I cared about and recently in the last year and a half or so, I've been really into Virginias and really, really into Three Nuns. Um, there's something about Three Nuns. I don't know what it is. Um, I have some aged Three Nuns that I've been smoking right there. And it, it's dried out a little bit, and it's got those sugar crystals growing on it. And, man, stuff smells good. It tastes good. It's got a great room note. The missus likes it. Um, it's her favorite thing for me to smoke, which is, which is great because I really do like it. I think it's delicious. When I first got the stuff, I wasn't that impressed. It was okay, but... A little age on it really sends it home for me. Um, but this is a lot like Three Nuns, although it is plummier and it is a darker, deeper flavor, if that makes sense. It's good. I like it. Now, while I enjoy this, some things are going to be coming up. Um, I'm going to start keeping a blog, I think. 
uh, about this as well. I've been writing, I have a journal that I keep um, <clears throat> and have worked on um, off and on in regards to pipe smoking. And I have other things uh, that I'm curious or interested about and other things that I think are pipe smoking adjacent that I'd like to talk about that I don't want to put on this channel necessarily. So I'm going to start keeping a blog um, to keep record of those things. I'm not sure when, but obviously I'll link these videos to the blog and the blog to these videos so they can all be sort of a cohesive experience. Now I'm getting something really interesting from this. I'm getting a toasted, almost a charred, caramelized sugar flavor. It's really, really interesting. And it's, it's, when I retrohale it, it's very peppery, which I'm surprised about. Very intriguing. I bet this stuff will age really well. It'll mellow a little bit because it's 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 smooth, but it's it's also got a lot of flavor going on. It's uh, like I said, it's vinegary and tangy and musky. Uh, not musty, but uh, vinegary and tangy and that toasted Cavendish flavor. It's also a little bit, I'd be curious to hear exactly what's in it. Maybe Doug will, maybe I can reach out to Doug at the cargo hold and find out. I can see myself really getting into this though. I can see myself smoking it quite a bit, which is good because thanks to my friend Tom, I have plenty. Which I'm glad of. Where are my manners? Tom also sent me other goodies. that I've apparently already did away with, or put away, but he sent me some uh, really awesome pine soap um, that I really like. Uh, he had given me a bar of it, which I used, I burned through um, as soon as he gave it to me. Very generous guy. Um, he had, they had a bar in their sink, I think. I used it. It was really nice. He had a bar laying around. He gave it to me. I used it, so he sent me three more bars <laughs> out of the blue. Um, and then he also sent me a, tin, a McClelland tin, a tin of McClelland's re, uh, red and black flake, which I will probably open at some point. I just don't know when that will be because it's McClelland, right? So it's gone now. Which is sad. And I am. Um, that's part of the reason why I stopped making videos, if you want to know the truth. I um, just didn't like the thought of. It just felt like the, the hobby, the pipe smoking hobby, was getting ready to fizzle out. Um, the rumors about Dunhill, then McClellan's Road Virginia stock issue. Then suddenly they were closing entirely. Everybody was buying up their stock like mad. People were buying Dunhill like mad. Um, doom, doom, doom. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and I just couldn't bear the thought of it. Just it made thinking about pipe smoking became for me, and this is probably going to sound strange, but for me, thinking about pipe smoking became about thinking about the state of the hobby, which became about thinking about how it's, so it seemed like it was dying out and like our, you know, all of our blends are going to be going, going away. And it just became too depressing to even imagine smoking. Um, so I, I gave it up for a while and I'm not even going to, um, I would probably have put all my pipes away and never smoked again. But uh, my significant other, she loves the pipe smoke. Who knew? Um, so she would uh, encourage. She is encouraged and encouraged and encouraged me to resume smoking because she likes the smell, and uh, she likes the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what she likes about it, um, but she likes that I do it, and she was very adamant that I resume. So I uh, started doing it again a little bit here and there, and now I'm back where I was to where I can actually enjoy it again, which is wonderful. So it's, it's very good. It's very, very good. Probably should have let it dry a little bit because it's burning kind of hot, kind of wet. But other than that, not too shabby. Anyway, just thought I'd take a little bit of time to film another video. Um, I keep saying, oh, there's more coming. Oh, there's more coming. Trust me, there's more coming. Um, I have a cellar full of things I've never tried, um, just waiting for me to, to smoke. And uh, I've got my own thoughts and my own feelings and stuff on um, the blends that I have and the experiences that I'm having with them. So I will be making more videos. We'll be filming more things. I appreciate you guys following me. also want to say thank you. I know uh, a couple weeks ago I surpassed my the 100 subscriber mark. Um, I'm grateful for that, and I'm really glad that uh, so many people have decided that I'm worth watching. And uh, I just want to say thanks. And I want to say uh, keep coming back. There's going to be more stuff. And... Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching.